Hello and welcome to this video on XLOOKUP where I'll give you a quick overview of how the function works and compare it with how you'd use VLOOKUP and INDEX and MATCH. I'm going to start by doing a simple lookup then using wildcards and also a scenario where you're looking for the closest value such as with your deal when you're dealing with tax brackets for instance. So I'm going to start with doing a lookup of city and pulling its population as well as the country or territory that it relates to. Now with the lookup, one of the limitations is you can go from left to right, but you can't go from right to left. So because I'm looking at capital city, I can't extract the country or territory. I can only get the population without having to first rearrange my data. So for country, I cannot get this. For population, I can do a lookup of my search term select the columns that I need, select the second column, manager false, and it correctly gives me a population of 8.9 million for London. Now with index and match, the main reason a lot, of, a lot of people like this is because it allows you to go left or right. It doesn't matter where, where your how your data is organized. So in this case, I can select column A, that's where I want to pull the data from, and then we use the match function to get the row number where I select London, do a search in column B, look for an exact match, and type 1. And that gives me United Kingdom. Now, I can freeze these, freeze these formulas. Control R. And now what I'm going to do is, instead of selecting country or territory, select population. Gives me 8.9. Now with XLOOKUP, this is even easier. So select the value that I'm looking up, select where I'm looking it up, and then what I want to return. So pretty simple. It's a lot easier than having to nest in a second formula. And again, I'm going to freeze these. And now sw swap the A's for C's. And now again, I'll get the population of 8.9. So the main difference with XLOOKUP is you're 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 simplifying the formula where you're selecting the value you're looking up where you're looking it up and where you want to pull the data from with the next and match it's a little bit more complicated because you have to use a second second function nested into that but it still does the same job whereas if you look up you're a bit more restricted where you can only pull data to the right of what you're searching for so xlookup definitely simplifies it when you're doing a lookup now let's Let's move over to using a wildcard. So I'm going to type in LON instead of the full this full word or full name of the city. And with with VLOOKUP, again, I'm not going to be able to, to pull the, the first column, but I can still do a wildcard search. All I need to do is add an asterisk, use an ampersand, another ampersand and an asterisk, table array, select this as if I was doing a normal lookup, to false so everything's the same essentially i'm just saying adding an asterisk onto it and i put a, an asterisk around the entire search term so even if i just typed ond it would still work ondo still work don still work so i'm just going to leave out lon just for this purpose but because i put asterisks around the entire thing it doesn't matter where where in the name it is so with index and match, what I can do is I can pull the country value, and then I'm still going to use the match formula. And again, I'm going to add an asterisk before and after the search term. Look up column B, and I'm going to put an exact match, column 1. And now it gives me United Kingdom. And again, I'm going to freeze these items here. Control R to copy it from the left. And now what I'm going to do is, instead of pulling column A, I want column C. And I get 8.9 million again. So it gives me the correct result. Now let's do this with XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add an asterisk before and after. And then lookup array is going to be here. And return array is going to be here. Now. If I just close this as is, it's going to give me an error. And the reason is I need to specify 
then it's a wild card match. So here I have an option for an exact match, exact or next smaller, exact or next larger, or a wild card. And I'm using a wild card character, so I have to specify the number two. And now I get United Kingdom. And I freeze these freeze these ranges again. Control R. And then again, I'm gonna move over from whoops. Gotta make sure I grab the right color. And that gives me 8.9. So the main difference when you're using wild cards is with an and match, it was an exact match, number zero. With X lookup, I have to specify that it's actually a wild card match and put in number two in here. So it's a it's a little trickier, but really it's uh, it's not really an e really any easier to use a wild card with X lookup. I still have to add the asterisk before and after. I mean, the only thing it simplifies is I don't have to have this nested function. But from a wildcard perspective, not really any benefit to using XLOOK, XLOOK from, from the looks of it here. So let's move on to my last example here. And this is if we're dealing with, with tax brackets. So for instance, let's imagine these are the different thresholds and these are the different tiers, taxable tiers, right? So let's say this one might charge at 5%, this might be 10% tax so on and so forth, right? So in this case, you're not looking for an exact match. You're looking for closest without going over, what I always call price is right rules. So let's say I've got an amount of $20,000, and I want to find out what tier this falls into. And typically, this should this should give me a result of number two. The reason being is 20000 is more than zero. It's more than 10000 but it's not more than 25000 So it hasn't reached this threshold it's reached this one. This is the highest it's reached so far. So it should give me a result of two if this works correctly. So let's start with a VLOOKUP. And one of the things I like about VLOOKUP is it actually does this really well. So if I do table array, comma two, and then I select true because I want an approximate match, it gives me the correct value of two. Now, if I use index and match, this can work same way. Now the array I want to return is going to be here because that's the value that I want. And then what I'm going to do is use the match function again. Select this value and I'm looking in here. And now for my match type I'm putting it in less than. So argument number one. And it gives me a value of two. Now with X lookup what I'm going to do is I'm going to still select the, the 20,000 here as my formula. I'm going to look it up here, and my return array is going to be here. If not found, I can skip that. F that. And now in this case, I'm going to select for the match mode, I'm going to specify minus 1 to say exact match or next smaller item. And now it still gives me the result of 2. So one of the things that XLOOKUP can do is it can bump me into the next category instead of the lower one. So if, let's say, I wanted to round up and say I want to go into Tier 3 instead of being stuck at Tier 2, I can change it to Exact Match or Next Larger Item. So Next Larger Item would be 3. So that's one of the neat things about XLOOKUP. It gives you that flexibility to make that change easily. But the main difference is if you're looking at 4... Uh, an example where you're dealing with tax brackets where you want to put in the right tier, lowest without going over, then you just set this argument to minus one. And remember, you need to skip over this if not found one unless you actually want to put a uh, put something for that. Um, but the main difference with index and match, you use an argument of one, whereas X lookup, you're putting negative one, and V lookup is actually the simplest one in this scenario. So if you're using this, and as long as it's structured where you're looking up to the left and pulling the values from the right, then VLOOKUP is probably going to be the, the simplest option here because it actually is the simpler formula to, to put in. XLOOKUP works fine, but there's not really any advantage to using it in this case. So, so when you're comparing XLOOKUP to index and match and VLOOKUP, there are some, some advantages, some simplicity involved. Um, for me, there's not really a whole lot of reason to use XLOOKUP instead of index and match. Um, the main reason I would say 
where it doesn't make sense is simply if you've been using index and match for years and years. I mean, it might simplify life a, a little bit, but chances are you're, you're going to be working on files that aren't going to be on the latest and greatest versions of Excel. A lot of people still use Excel 2007, even 2010. So, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not always going to be common where you're d dealing with the newest system. So it's, uh, there's not a whole lot of advantages for using XLOOKUP. I mean, especially index and match and VLOOKUP do a good job of what they do now. Um, so yes, without any huge advantages and not a lot of Excel files being able to work with XLOOKUP, it, it's nice to know how to use it, but there's not a huge advantage or something you should be itching to, to use as, as quickly as possible. Because like I said, index and match, VLOOKUP, do just as good of a job i mean you're really saving the, your re, your real savings is the fact that um with x lookup you're just selecting a range two ranges and that's it there's no nested formulas that you have to put in there but when you're looking at wild cards when you're looking at these partial matches for for tiers or for tax brackets there's not really any advantage to it so it's uh it's a nice addition, but I just don't think that it's uh, at this point. It's it's too early for for it to really be that that popular. That's my takeaway from it, anyways. I always prefer using the older functions just because it's a lot more versatile. It'll work on older computers, on older um, Excel files. As you get used to using X lookup, I forget how to use the other ones. You know, you're at a yeah a bit of a disadvantage. But the good news is if you've been using index and match. It, it'll continue to work and um yeah x lookup is is a nice to have but not really the groundbreaking changes that maybe microsoft will make you want to think it is but anyways it's a nice addition but uh yeah i hope you hope you found this video useful and uh thanks for watching and check out the check out the link in the video for um for for my post on this and a bit more detail thank you